So you may or may not have heard, um, the organizers of Prague Pride this year are flying me out as their special guest. So I'm going to be in Prague for four days, speaking at events and joining the parade and just hanging out and educating people about asexuality and increasing some visibility. So right now I'm in the airport. It is ridiculously early in the morning. I am shiny. I am tired. I'm on an all-nighter. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go check out my gates and hopefully all will go well. Got off the plane in Prague. Oh, this is cute. It's nice and cool in here as well. It's quite hot outside. Let me check out the bathroom. Oh, look at this shower. I like. And the bath. This is cute. I can, I can handle this. Oh my God, the toilet's in a little. <laughs> this is really cute. <laughs> I was just checking out the contents of my little welcome package and look, it's Prague Pride Magazine. And I'm in it. This is an interview I did with them, but this is my first time seeing the physical copy. So this is like really, really cool. I do not have long to acquaint myself with my very comfortable hotel room because in two hours, I am going to be met in the reception and I am being taken to the Theatre Royal for interviews and for rehearsals for Prague Voices tonight. So, yeah, no chill. I'm gonna see if I can charge my phone and get some food before I have to get dressed and leave. <sighs> so I just finished eating the biggest portion I've ever had in my life. I just get back to my room and I get a phone call saying, your escort's here to pick you up and take you to the theater. Time for interviews. And I got dressed so fast and did my makeup so fast and now I've gotta do the press get ready for my big talk and I feel like I haven't rested since over a day ago because I'm on an all-nighter right now so we'll see what happens. Just been doing some rehearsals. I think it's gonna be a little while before the audience gets here, but I'm only gonna get nervous when the audience gets here. In the meantime, I've just been reading my thing like a billion times and I need to do some sunlight. <laughs> people keep staring at me. And not because I'm vlogging. They even like look at me with like skepticism or they like smile at me. So I like 50% of those people. And if yes, why? No, why? Okay. Combination. <laughs> right. So I just did a really quick uh, interview for a news channel going on behind me, back there somewhere. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to work out how or when I'll be able to see it, but yes, that happened. Okay, so that's a wrap on my first day at Prague. I am drunk. There was a free bar and I capitalized on it. Um, thank you so much to everybody who came out. It was so awesome meeting people who have known me from social media and have been following me for a long time. That was amazing. And meeting new people and getting to tell them about asexuality. Awesome. Amazing. I have had five cocktails and 
I really need to go to bed because I'm speaking again tomorrow and I want to do some sightseeing. But honestly, this first day has been such a whirlwind. Like, I haven't slept in like 48 hours and just like I, I haven't, I feel like I haven't stopped since I got off the plane. So, this is a well deserved nap. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Mwah. See you then. So, it's day two in Prague. Um, today, I'm due to speak at Pride House at about 5.30. Um, and in the meantime, I should have the opportunity to do some exploring. Um, Yana, I believe that's how I pronounce her name, is gonna be picking me up and we're gonna go to Old Town. But I've also been reflecting a bit more on yesterday. Um, whenever I do those kind of things, like I was listening to such amazing activists with some really inspiring and also really harrowing stories and when I'm up there, sometimes I feel like a bit of an imposter. I feel like I haven't paid my dues in the same way. Not that I want to go through bad things, but like when you're listening to people who have like been attacked for their sexualities and stuff, and then I'm just up there like, yeah, one time people were mean to me on the internet. I, I feel really lame. Like I feel like, like, I don't know, like I shouldn't be on the same stage as these people who have like been doing like a lot more impressive work and really putting like their lives on the line in countries where they have to deal with a lot more for being LGBT plus than I do. Um, I mean, obviously, I guess they thought that my story was worth hearing of why they wouldn't have invited me. But I know that's just something that I, I know that I feel like I, I often end up thinking of these things. And I was thinking about that yesterday, but oh yeah, but the people said that they thought that it was a good talk. So yeah. <laughs> it's actually. Oh, hey, this is Yana. Hi. Hi. Is it Yana or Jana? Yana. Yana. Okay, but you can call me Jane. <laughs> I'm used to it. Okay, I'll say it right. So, Yana, she's giving me a tour of Prague. We're gonna go to Old Town and maybe a castle. Yeah, and maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if we have time for the castle before I'm due to do my talk. And this is the furthest outside of the hotel I've been on foot. So. I'm very intrigued by everything, but it's really, really hot today. <laughs> Not Czech culture, you know, <laughs> not in the I least. Have this is Prague, everyone. This is what Prague looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is Prague. <laughs> this is so pretty. And I can't believe this beautiful building is a Starbucks. <laughs> wow. came up to me and was asking if I speak English and then he was trying to ask me out and I was like oh sorry I'm here for pride and he was like oh I'm sorry I didn't realize so Yana is not my girlfriend I think <laughs> but whenever guys manage to hit on me <laughs> this is 
Whoa! This used to be part of the city walls. Monastery and shopping mall. But people I recognize from Instagram, so oh, we're <laughs> we're here. Look who we've got! Lots of eight people everywhere. This is so cool. <laughs> so we're about to do the talk sometime soon. <laughs> Didn't expect this many people to show up. <laughs> There's like a room full of people in there. So I've just been introduced to the Czech version of Coca-Cola called Coca-Cola and it's actually better than Coca-Cola. It has like cinnamon in it, I swear to God. It tastes so good. I wish we had this in England. We're on our way to uh, Prague Castle, I think. And we're... And... <laughs> Apparently there's a really good view, so. <laughs> You can barely see me at all, but it has just started raining, and <laughs> hopefully that means that it won't rain much tomorrow. Oh, now you can see. Okay. Now we're going on a tram. Oh, this is cool. Oh, thank you. This is interesting. So today is the day of the Prague Pride Parade. This is only going to be my second ever parade. I'm not entirely sure of whereabouts in the parade I'm supposed to be. And I have to find my way half the way by myself. So let's see how well I can navigate uh, Prague alone. Um, but I've managed to put together a purple outfit. I thought I'd exhausted all my purple outfits in London, but I haven't. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this one. Uh, partially because I've heard that there tends to be uh, neo-Nazis at Prague Parade, like as protesters. Um, and I've never really encountered a neo-Nazi before. Hopefully they won't bother me, but if they get mad about white queer people, they're probably going to have a field day with me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I found where I'm supposed to be, and... I'm definitely feeling this right now. This is a lot, this reminds me of London Pride now. Only a London Pride, I wasn't at the front, so I'm very honored to be at the front. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
rainy pride is quite different to the vibe in London now. Um, there's been a lot of pauses, so. I was in this square yesterday, but we've been standing here for a while. I'm hoping that the rain slows down so I can get like some happy looking party pictures because so far everyone's just like standing under umbrellas and there isn't much of a crowd and yeah. Stalled, I think those are some protesters over there. And I think the police are trying to like handle them. I don't know whether they're like neo-Nazis or whether they're like religious protesters, but yeah, we're kind of standing still in the rain no, they don't. once again. Yeah. Right, so apparently those are the actual legit Nazis over there. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so we're walking through Old Town. That's actually, that's the mayor and I think the vice mayor there under the rainbow umbrella. Um, not too much of a crowd, but I do not blame them. <laughs> Look at all the people. Okay, so these are the stairs that someone actually tried to sabotage. They covered them in oil so we wouldn't be able to finish the route, but I guess they've been able to clear it up because so far, so good. There's like one guy with a sign that says like LGBT equals shit on it. Like, he is too much. Just sitting there by himself in the rain. Okay, so we just found the VIP bit. Hopefully we can get some shelter. how they made it gold just so you don't miss it but I can't be proportionate found the Jewish quarter apparently and it's beautiful <laughs> it's so lovely isn't it I know there's so many like designer shops here oh look at this this is cute Oh, look at this cute little corner. I thought this was going to be like a single tea. Look at this whole pot. It's how you should be. I love it. Let me give you a tour. You know, okay. This the church. Is it? making a noise. Wow, this is the... And to the left? This is where she's looking. It's not making a noise at all. 
And this is the imp I was here yesterday, I just realized I've been here. Oh my days. <laughs> I've been here for a while. Okay. Um, French Impressionism. That church is the one with the clock where it has the dancing men that come out. What is the name of this place? Um, yeah. <laughs> Square Two. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's the end of the night and we're getting ready to go back to the hotel. Everybody say hi! Hola! Hey! Hey! Last vacation. Hey! Hey! What up, bro? Hey! hey. 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 <laughs> Who is she? This, this, is this, my, this is my dad. I don't, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> You're pronouncing that wrong. It's really? called daddy. It's called daddy. <laughs> this is my dad, D. Daddy! Okay. Daddy! Daddy! That changes. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What are we doing? What are we doing? That, this is daddy garb. Daddy. This is daddy garb. <laughs> yeah, come, 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 come now. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yes! There's your daddy garb. Yes! Right. yes. Oh. He's all oh. of our daddy. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> Daddy, 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 daddy. <laughs> hey, you guys are so spicy oh, sorry, on my sorry. vlog right that's now. That's my breast. That's your tip. Oh, that's my breast. You, you literally oh, strip me and then go, oh, hey, don't touch my breast. No, but I'm so reserved. I am dying right now. <laughs> so today is my last day in Prague. And I checked out of my hotel, dumped my luggage, and I'm going to see whether I can squeeze in a bit more sightseeing before I have to get back to the airport. So I'm gonna meet Yana at a cafe, get some breakfast, and then hopefully we'll find some cool museums. This is all recycled. Look how cool this is. It is beautiful. Whoa. This is so cool. I need to bond with Yoda. Absolutely insane. Garfield, of all things, Daffy Duck, Mickey Mouse. Um. Okay, I'm not sure. Fitness of a Madagascar. Is that Pumba? It's Pumba! Have we got freaking four? Hellboy. My heart, my soul, my ultimate love. I cannot believe we have Wolverine. That detail is insane. Captain America. Yeah, 
Okay, so me and Yana are at the gallery of steel. in the Czech Republic. And you can get smoothies here. Wow, and the smoothies. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. I swear we don't have this. Okay, so we're on our way to Pride Village, but look what I found in Hamley's. Legit Harry Potter butter beer, which I have not had since I was actually in the Warner Brothers studios on my 22nd birthday. I don't understand how I can't find this in England, but I can find it here. But it is amazing. The new building and the theater, the old theater. At the airport now, my adventures in Prague are sadly coming to an end, but this has been the most amazing experience. This is something I am going to cherish for the rest of my life. You guys have made me feel so welcome. I am so honored to be invited to your beautiful city, to your beautiful Pride event, and it has just been so absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much, and happy Pride, and hopefully I'll see you again sometime. <laughs>